What's up YouTube, Daniel Carter at Afro Herb Keeper here. Um, guess what we're talking about today? It's not snakes, it's not cockroaches, it's not scorpions, it's spiders. Um, I've got two very iconic Texas sized spiders for you today. One is obviously quite large and the other one is uh, relatively small but it packs a Texas sized punch. My life is a bit of a mess, but I like it that way. Between juggling school, work, dozens of animals, and a constant drive to explore, things can get pretty hectic. But one thing always stays the same. A burning passion for wildlife and a desire to preserve the biodiversity of our world through public education, conservation, and animal care. My name is Daniel Carter, and you're watching Afro Herb Keeper. Um, so in my hand on the left here is a beautiful creature uh, known as a Phonophelma hensi, the Texas brown tarantula. And uh, this one is none too happy about being cooped up in a box, but here he is. Check this out. This is an adult male Texas brown tarantula. And if you don't know your way around spiders, you may call me crazy for handling this animal in this manner. However, as it may become apparent, this is a very docile animal. Now this particular spider has been in my care for uh, maybe four or five months, and I collected it as a juvenile. However, in the meantime, it has molted out into its adult form. Now the thing about male tarantulas is that they essentially serve only one purpose, and that is to reproduce. Where these guys live only two or three years at most, uh, an adult female can live 20 to 40 years. You heard that right. It's due to this exponentially shorter lifespan and the fact that I collected this exact animal out here in the woods all those months ago that I am actually re-releasing him today. Rather than languishing in my care without a mate to do tarantula things with, um, we are going to return him to the beautiful Texas hill country that he came from so that he can go about his tarantula related business and hopefully get lucky before some other creature snags him. So again, this is a remarkable Texas brown tarantula, a Phonophelma hensi. We are going to uh, release this big beautiful dude. I'm thinking this big pile of rocks behind me. So you can tell that this spider for all seven minutes and three seconds that I've been messing with it um, has not acted aggressively or defensively one single time. In fact, right now, he's trying to cover his face with his legs because he's uh, feeling like he has to protect himself rather than attack. So if I were a spider, I feel like this pile of brush and scrap would look pretty darn inviting. Check out that beautiful spider. He looks right at home there. It looks just as if he was meant to be there. Now while the animal I have in this tiny acrylic box is clearly much, much smaller than our Texas brown tarantula, it is much more intimidating. This is the Texas brown recluse. If you are from North America, there is a very good chance that you know what a brown recluse is. This is one of our two big native venomous spiders, the other one being the black widow. We have multiple species of brown recluses and black widows, but this one is the Texas brown recluse. You can identify a brown recluse by the flattened shape of its body, the way it splays out its legs, and this very intricate uh, guitar or violin shaped mark on the top of its head. There is something very intricate and beautiful about such a small animal that packs such a serious venomous punch. While a bite from a brown recluse is not likely to kill you, it can cause severe necrosis. It can cause you to lose fingers and in rare cases even necessitate the amputation of limbs. However, it is worth noting that this spider is just as docile as the tarantula that we just let go. Although the name brown recluse will inspire fear in the hearts of many, it is actually a pretty harmless spider. The brown recluse actually has a tiny mouth and even smaller fangs. In order to bite you, it actually has to be pressed up against your skin. Um, so we're not going to be doing that right now, but the only instance in which you're going to be getting bitten by this spider is if you're purposefully messing around with it, uh, you were to step on it on the floor, or you were to accidentally roll over it in your sleep. But as I said, this is a very docile spider. It is not inclined to bite in the least, even if it is one of the most venomous spiders in the United States. You can hear now that we have our cicadas starting up. 
it is very very hot in this part of Texas right now and that is why we have waited until the evening to do this spider release so if I look behind me um, our Texas brown tarantula is actually still sitting exactly where we left him he has not moved off the top of his log. I think this particular spider is going to be uh, a bit more fast paced and a bit more quick to run away. You can see that he is clearly super eager to get away from me, but we are going to open up his tin, let him meander on out of there, and there he goes. So once again, my name is Daniel Carter at Afro Herb Keeper. Yes, we did just re-release a brown recluse into the wilds of Texas. While I have no fear of a spider like that, and you shouldn't either, logically, I still don't necessarily want it roaming around in the bathroom. So with all that said, um, even if you didn't come away with a newfound appreciation for our eight-legged friends, uh, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more content related to spiders, lizards, snakes, all of the above, uh, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions about what you saw here today or the spiders contained within, feel free to drop those in the comment section below. And once again, my name is Daniel Carter at Afro Herb Keeper. Thank you all for watching.